So it's a nice day. We've decided to come out for a bit and we've come to one of Terry's favourite places, which is the Brocont just up the road from us. And it's like a little Aladdin's cave. You'd have to rummage and as you can see, everything's just piled up everywhere. So we're just going to have a little rummage about, see if we can find anything. He's asked me to look for some light shades. The only one's nine matching one, so we're not asking the impossible at all. So, and we'll see what we can find. Found anything nice yet, Terry? No, I found one lamp shade. One? Yeah, I found one, how beautiful is that? A tie back, which would have been beautiful for one of the bedrooms, but... You need two. I need two. Unless we just have one big curtain. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah. Well, I look through it all, I can't find the other one, so yep. it's a bit pointless otherwise. But we will search on. There's bit... always little treasures to be found. Yep, there is in this place. Oh, and I've known before I normally come in jeans and I can't climb over stuff, so I've got my tracksuit bottoms on. <laughs> <laughs> and I only wear trackies anyway, so I'm fine. Let's see what else is. Tapestry is nice, isn't it? Yeah, we've seen them a few times, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Just these screens so I can get changed when we're in. <laughs> you, modest. <laughs> Do you not want the uh, Londres lamp? No. Little so, cups for... Uh... Chandeliers. Put them on more lights or whatever. I think you should buy the London lamp. I've seen that. I've seen it's got the same uh, like top that. as ours, hasn't it? Like this one. I like this. Reason being is, it was in the brook on over the road. And I'm sure it was only, I think it was about five or 10 euro. So I'm gonna ask how much it is in here. Cause I loved it. It's got a bit of damage on the corner there, but I think it'd just be lovely just in the corner somewhere. I'll check how much that is to see. <laughs> see if it's gone up or down. <laughs> I see these every time I come in. Oh, how amazing is that? Wherefore, Terence? Well, we've got a shot off. So <laughs> I'm sure it goes somewhere. I'm sure you'll find somewhere for it. There's that one. And then I don't know if this is just bent or what. Like the tops on them are slightly different. So I think it's the top had been altered on this one. Because so, it's missing the, the pineapple on the top. So. Still matching, they'd be lovely. I know Brian might be a make them match. <laughs> I look at them every time, so I'm going to ask how much these are as well. I think for, to be honest, they would be beautiful in the 401 bedroom suite. So we'll check how much those are and we'll let you know. Anything else? A little egg cup for you. Oh, thanks. I love Paris. I don't love Paris, <laughs> especially not driving around it. <laughs> Like the chandelier. I do. That one's nice. If... It's nice, but I don't know, does it look a little bit too cheap? It does look a bit like cheese. tacky. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice though. I know we've got nicer ones though, so. What is that? Well, I've just bought a Edwardian Jardinier, which is exactly the same to put plants in. Uh, would that be in fabric? I'm not too sure. No idea. It looks like a jardinier.
we're going up to the top part. No idea where we are, the range just started. So Terry's sending me up some ladders into this top bit that I've never seen before. We well, said there's some lampshades up here, isn't he? Yes, so, which is what we were looking for. We'll have a look. So it's just a Aladdin's cave just goes on. And then there's all stuff in here as well. So I haven't been up here for a while. <laughs> Came up and I got some nice chairs. Oh yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at all of them. Brilliant. <coughs> Beautiful them ones. Absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. <coughs> Sifty through them, see which ones we need. Yep. Yeah. Let's we'll see what else is here. He said we can look about. Yeah. This is the type of places I like. <laughs> it looks like just it should all be skipped or burnt, but yeah, you rummage and find all sorts. Will you find all sorts of stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's the other one, light. I'm sure that's the same one, isn't it, Ash? No, it's bigger. Is it? Yeah, it's oh. Not a pair of them ones. Beautiful. So that's exactly what I'm wanting. Spot anything? No, no, nothing yet. So, found a little secret stash up in the roof with literally just corrugated sheets, so I have to be careful where I'm standing. But I've just spotted four more um, lampshades of a perfect one that we wanted for the 400 suite. So, I've got five all together, only needed three for one chandelier, and I need six for another. But that'll work, obviously. At least I'll be able to use those. I think I've got five there for one of the chandeliers and then I've looked for some of it. But I'm going to have a little rummage through because this is all really old stuff, which obviously I'm wanting. So we'll see what else he is. I was looking through all of these old chandeliers and I've just found Loads more lampshades, which is amazing. So I've found another one of these ones, which is beautiful. It's like a sort of Georgian sort of style, which is perfect. So now I've got six of them. I've already got some of these at the Chateau, but one or two were broke. So I've got that one. And look how beautiful these are. So beautiful. There's just so many in here. So another day, another brocante. It is. Always good when we come to a brocante. Terry's always happy. Yeah. We just come up for the day just to. Have a little look around. Well, it's the Grenier season as well, isn't it? So Yeah, we've been there two today, but we didn't really get anything. <laughs> Some of the stuff that they try to sell though, my goodness. Yeah, apart from food. <laughs> yeah, well we only go for well I only go for the food. We're on the search for more lampshades. So when we were up to the Brook Hunt, I managed to get four, four didn't we? Which we liked. Mm -hmm. So I either need three for one chandelier or six. So if I can get six, great. If not, I'll just have to use three of them. But we've already got some of these sort of like tulip ones. You're not too keen on them, are you? I just, 
the ones that you've been getting, I think, are nice. I don't know about them. It's not that I don't like them. It's no, just, it's just the I don't understand the style. So, yeah. well, because we want more of a, um Edwardian style, we need it a bit more sort of structured and masculine. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. And there for me, aren't yeah floaty. So, and then you've just got like your standard one that you see everywhere. So, as nice as they are, they're not good for us. You never know. We might see some. Like this. There's only one more. More like to like bedside cabinets to yeah. find them in France. Yeah, there's always one. Yeah, whenever you find a decent one, there's only one. Mm -hmm. so. And that's not wired up for electrics either, is it? No, but you'd be able to. It wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, would we? Yeah. <laughs> it's not hot. It's our little kitchen. Mm -hmm. Finish it off. Absolute ton. And where are you thinking for that, Terry? Just a bedside lamp. Just a bed. <laughs> <laughs> You've got inside of a lighthouse. <laughs> Honestly, it was an absolute ton. I'll let you lift it. I don't want to, thanks. <laughs> Proper cast iron. <laughs> 85 euro. It's only one. No. If it was a matching pair. Yeah, if you had a matching pair, it'd be brilliant. I like this fire. This one? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. That one's nicer. Terry likes that one. I love this one. I just think it's so cute. The one next to it's nice as well, really. Mm. Very... Is that Art Deco? Uh, yeah. Cute though. Mm. Sure it would fit somewhere. That's quite canny. Salt. Not salt tin. <laughs> no. There's no more wall light. No, just, not with the shades that you're looking for, though. Just the standard ones again. And up we go. A bit different to the other book on we were in though, isn't it? It's a bit more laid out. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see stuff. <laughs> Some more. <coughs> it's a nice one. Quite big though. I'm okay, I don't like that. <clears throat> There's another one. So we'd have five? Five. We've still not got the right number. Get it. I might ask if we've got some more because then do we use six for the big chandelier? But with the amount of big greniers come on up, you know exactly what you're looking for now. Like last year when we were doing it, we weren't particularly looking for them, yeah. Whereas I think with the amount of big greniers coming up, yeah, I think realistically you could probably get nine matching between the big greniers that we'll end up doing, yeah. So, should I get it? If, if it's the same as the other ones, absolutely. I'm positive it's the same one. Because I'm okay. not, it's just like the sort of fluted design. I'm positive it's the same one. Okay, if you're positive it's the same, then get it. But oh, we only paid 20 euro for four. It's 15 euro for one. It's on you. Means I got an extra sausage sandwich the next Brocomp we go to. <laughs> I'll put it back then. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll get it just in case, because I'll end up kicking myself otherwise. Probably. Because so. then you'll find four the next place you go and you'll need nine and you'll be gutted that you didn't pick that one up. Yeah. Chairs are quite nice. Hmm. It's nice as well, isn't it? When we first came in, there was a picture that we've both seen as well, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Which we absolutely love. Just the frame needs quite a lot of work. Yeah, it's the only thing that's put me off it. Yeah. 
I didn't realise the work at the frame. It was the picture I was drawn to. Yeah, I do really like it though. I do. To see if we can do a deal on it. Go on then. So we're back from our little outing. Did and you have fun? Yeah, it's been good. It's nice just to get out, to be honest. And yeah, and look about just, and just enjoy France. Yeah, even if you don't get anything, sometimes it's just nice just to get out. And they get the sausage sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> so we've got the little jars. Yeah, they're lovely. They're lovely, and I think yeah. they'll be beautiful in the kitchen. Yeah. So we haven't shown the kitchen fully finished yet because we're still needing a couple of little pieces yeah. so we can do a full video. So won't be long. We'll have that done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can do like a proper reveal for that. So we've got them. We've got this little jug, which goes nice with them. So That's beautiful. That. It's lovely, isn't it? Three euro. Three euro. Yeah. Absolutely so beautiful. We're gonna put a little plant in that, and. My lampshade. <laughs> so this is a lampshade. That's the one you've just bought. That's the one you already had. Was it? Yep. Tess, I know, and like I said to you, it's got the extra lines in. Serge has some with the extra lines in. That's the one? From Serge's. So that's the one I need. Yep. And that's the one I bought. Yeah. But if you look, see, that's what I was going off, that pattern. Yeah, yeah. Which is exactly the same. But Serge has that one. So he has two more there. He's got two of them. You didn't buy them because there was only two. So then if there's two of them. Then you've got three. Three of them. And then you just have here. to find. Two more of them. Yeah. So. Not, not, all's not lost. But I promise you, if you go back to Serge's, Serge has two of them. I remember. So I would have bought them because they're quite similar to them. I remember saying to you, don't get them because they were like that, but they had the lines. And I said, you'll notice the difference. But they've got the lines all the way down, haven't they? I can't remember. I'm sure a search has too like that. Anyway. We're happy. We've got another lampshade. <laughs> you can never have too many lampshades, can you? And we got the picture. So we got a deal on the picture and the lampshade. Yeah, we did. Um, every time I go into the side of the barn, obviously I always look at it. And you noticed it straight away. As soon as I walked in, it's not something I'd ever look at something like that. And I'd just seen it and I just really liked it. And it's a signed watercolour. It's lovely. Yeah, It is beautiful. But on the way back... I just noticed more and more how much work needs to be done because there's been some bad repairs done on it. Yeah. So it's going to be a, a lot of work to get it back. But I think it's worth it, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's something that I could just do, you know, my spare time. Well, you have so much of it. Well, I know. I may as well just do something else. Yeah. So, but it will be nice. <laughs> and it'll go nice somewhere. Anyway. So, yeah, that's Simple. a little thing. Yeah, it's all good, all the nice little treasures. So, we'll get sorted now. Yep, get off, put away. Yeah, and see if there's any more brocans. Go on then. I'll be grinnies. Get out. Come on. So, I've come back out to the brocant, and I can't stop thinking about the chandelier that we spotted when we came. So, I've came to have another look to see if it's going to be possible, because it's supposed to have a fabric bottom, which I've not seen before, so... I'm just trying to see if obviously it's going to be easy enough for us to, to recover if we're going to do it in fabric or if I could try and put the glass shades that we've got on some of the other chandeliers on this one. So yeah, it'd be for the 400 hallway, I think, if we can make it work. But I just need to have a little look first, see if it's going to be viable to do it. And then to come and have a little look at some of the other shades. Um, because some of the other ones that we got didn't all match. So I'll have a little look now and show you. So this is the chandelier that I've came back to look at. Now the bottom part and the other ones that we've got, all of this is glass in here, where this one is obviously fabric, it's supposed to be. Now I love the style of it and the shape, but I'm just not sure what it's going to look like with fabric on the bottom rather than glass. So everything else on it is absolutely perfect. It's just, like I said, the, the bottom part. I think it'd polish up lovely as well. It'd look so nice. But I don't know. I'll we'll have to see. So, back from our little outing, 
for the second, third time to the Brook Hunt and picked up a couple of other little bits while I was there. Obviously they were just too good, not too. They'd be perfect for some of the rooms. So picked up these wall lights. Not too sure if we'll use them or not for one of the suites because um, I need to find more shades. But they were nice. Obviously the detail on them is quite nice as well. But they were only five euro for the free anyway. So I thought, why not? I'm sure they'll come in useful somewhere in the future. Um, and we've got three of them, which you don't normally see, which was good. But also I got this. So just found this hidden away in one of the Brockhunts and it'll be perfect for one of the rooms um, in the 400 or 401 suite. And it'll be great, obviously, for when we're serving breakfast, we can obviously take it up in the room on the tray and just pop it on the stand. Obviously, it just comes straight off. But the stand needs a bit of work, obviously, just the straps of give way eventually. But the detail on it's lovely and it's in really good condition. And I don't think there is a single sign of woodworm on it, which is, I think, the first thing I bought in France and the first thing I've seen in France that hasn't actually got woodworm. So that's good. And then the tray, again, is all in great condition, just needs a clean up um, and a good, good, good wax. But that'll be brilliant. Again, it's in brilliant condition. It's nice and strong and it's a decent size as well, which obviously you don't normally see them that sort of size. So we'll be able to get a full nice continental breakfast on there and then we'll be able to take that up to the room, which will just be lovely. Just a, another um, added extra that you, you'd want when you're stopping here. So yeah, but also I got the light. I'll show you that now. So this is a chandelier that I was deliberating and getting. Um, the style of it is absolutely perfect for what we want for the 400 suite. The only problem was is it didn't have a glass base, which we did want. Now, when I bought it from the, um, in Brockland, Guy had said that I used to have a fabric button. So I'm not too sure how it originally went or what it looked like and if we're going to put fabric on the bottom or if to try and get a, a glass replacement for it but except like the style and the size is just going to be perfect for me. No, it's not like a, a glitzy sort of chandelier it's more um, it's it's elegant in a different way i think it's like the the brass works beautiful on it and the detail and it's just going for a different sort of style rather than a crystal chandelier. Um, and I think it makes it feel a, a lot more masculine, which is the look that we want and go for. So yeah, I think it's it's gonna be perfect. and will fit in these rooms really well. Managed to get three shades as well. So I've got three shades for one chandelier and I've got four for this one, which will work perfectly. But obviously, Put it aside for now, but when it comes to it, we'll have to polish it all up, rewire it, and look at what we're going to do with the base. If we're going to put on fabric, I think it'd be nice if it was like a, a pleated fabric, or if we're going to go with trying to put perspex or glass or sink in to give it that sort of look that we've got with the other one. So yeah, but for now, I will put it with the other chandeliers and wait until it's ready. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Obviously it was going up shopping again, which I haven't done for quite a while. And we managed to get a couple of decent bits. Got a couple of bits for the kitchen and a couple of bits for the suite as well. So it's all coming together. As you can see as well, the panelling's looking amazing. So we're just waiting for the window and then we can start getting this painted, which would be brilliant. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey, 
and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.